giving you an holiday, Maud. Ah, great, Maud. Send us a postcard. Oh, all right, Maud. Where do you live? I mean, what road do you live in? Oh, well, well, I don't live in any road because Model Millie hasn't made any yet. Oh, oh. I'm very sorry. I've only just really started my model. But that's given me an idea as to what I could make this week. Roads! Yes, now I'll need some paint for that. Ah! Remember your paint apron? Ah! My paint apron's in Lulu. Yeah, paint can be very messy. I bet you're never messy. Ah, here it is. Oh, dear. Still messy from last time. Never mind. There's something else I have to remember, though. What is it? Let me think. Feed the cat, mend the hat, make a model, that's a doddle, make a stew, clean the loo, talk to Baz. That's right, Baz the Jazz. He lives next door. He said he'd come over later and help me with my model. I wonder what time... Ding dong! Ah. Oi! Did you say time, Millie? Okay. Yes, this is Ding and Dong. They make a great clock, except for one thing. Watch. Yes, I did. At uh, what time is it? Uh, tell her, Ding. Uh, well, it's... Uh, uh, uh. Tell her, Dong. They never know the time. Oh, yes, we do. It's a bit later than yesterday. Yeah, and a bit earlier than tomorrow. But mainly, it's time, time you've got, got to, to wash. <laughs> See what I mean? Right, uh, I know. Painting. Now, I've got my paint. And this bit of curb would be brilliant as a row. Great, pop that down there. I need some paint trays for my paint. Now, what colour are roads? Well, they're not really black and they're not really white, are they? But what happens when you mix black and white together? Let's have a look. Lots of white and a bit of black. Mix it all together and it makes... Ah, yes! Grey! But what sort of grey? Because... A little bit of black and a lot of white makes a grey that's really light. And a lot of black and a little bit of white makes a grey that's nearly night. But lots of black and lots of white makes a grey that's just about right. That looks just about right to me. Let's have a go. We need to have a, a grey that looks like a real road. Roll it down. Well, that's road colour. It's a bit flat and boring, isn't it? I know. We need some dibbling and dabbling. Grab a sponge and the light grey. Dibble, 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 dibble. Different types of the same colour are called shades. Did you know that? Well, they are. Dibble, 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 dibble. And now a bit of dabbling. Grab the other sponge. And dabble, 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 dabble. That looks more like it. It's not bad. It's still not quite right, though. Ding -de dong It's time for Baz the Jazz to appear! Oh, I could have told them that. Hey, Model Millie! Hey, Baz the Jazz! Give me five to the side, upper, bob, down below. Oh, you're too slow. He always catches me out on that one. This is Baz the Jazz. Hi. He lives next door with his mum. Barry! That's his mum. Yeah, but she's the only one allowed to call me that name, Barry! okay? Don't get your new shoes dirty, all right? Oh, <laughs> yes, Mum. Hey, nice new <laughs> shoes, Ben. Yeah, they stopped my feet from getting chilly, Millie. <laughs> Here, what are you up to? Well, hey, great model. Watch your shoes. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's this house. Yep. Yeah, but you know what it needs, Millie? Some roads. I know, that's what I'm working on. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> But it's not quite right, is it? Oh, I know. Here, what else are you going to put in your roads? Well, I haven't done my research yet, you see. Black and white paint. Yes. Zebra crossing. I don't see any zebras crossing. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you're right, though. And with the white paint, you could put some cat's eyes in the middle of the road. And down the sides, you could put some yellow lines. Oh, what's that? <laughs> some yellow lions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Come on, Baz. We're going on a city safari. Where? A city safari, so I can finish my research. Keep your eyes peeled. Moving down the roadside, going for a walk. Watch for where the jungle 
animal stalk. There's a zebra crossing up on the ridge. So watch out for the humpback bridge. Yeah. Moving down the middle, middle of the road, a row of big cat size. Nines, cheetahs, and tigers too. Shining as the lights go by. Going on so far, out into the sea. What you gonna meet? There's a jungle in the streets. Panda cars come a charging by. Where the elephant trunk road bends. And over on the island, halfway across, there's a tribe of lollipop men. Ooh. Up above the street light shining bright. Or are they fireflies in the night? And over on the pavement, waiting to. He hates being called Barry. Oi! What are they be Baz? Baz, sorry, come on. Research time. Here, can I have a go on your camera, Millie? All right, as long as you're careful. Yeah! Great! Brand new roads being built. Come on, Baz. Let's get down there. Yeah, and see what's digging. Hello, Millie. My name's Bill. It may not look like it, but in three weeks' time, there'll be traffic flowing down this part of the road. Oh, come on, Millie. Give us a go with the camera. Great shot, eh? Who's driving, then? <laughs> yoo -hoo! Baz, can I have the camera back? I want to get a closer look at the crane. Whee! This is how a heavy crane moves along. On those treads. They're called caterpillars because of the way they crawl along. If it just had wheels, the crane would soon get stuck in the soft ground. Good morning, Millie. My name's Trevor. This is the grader that levels the road before we put the tarmac down. Come on, Baz. Let's move on to the next bit of research. Some road repairs. This is a tarmacking lorry. All that lovely black tarmac is going to be laid on top of an old bit of road. This machine spreads the tarmac evenly on the road. Just smooth it off a bit. Then a new layer of gravel goes on top to toughen it up. And a road roller comes along and flattens it all down to make the road as good as new. Is that it, then? Is that it? There's loads more to see yet. What do you think? Great model, eh? <laughs> Let me guess. Uh, pneumatic drill. <laughs> uh, great road, Mod. Oh, yes, Mod. Lovely zebra crossing. I don't see any zebras crossing. We've already had that joke, Mod. Oh. <laughs> oh, the open road. No, this road is closed. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to do some road repairs. <laughs> What's that called? Uh, a padumpa. Watch. <coughs> oh, sorry, fat cat. I don't know. Watch out for the road. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, Millie. Now you really have to repair it because you're only excellent. Huh? Well, look, your boots have left this brilliant, knobbly pattern. Now it looks like a real road. Oh, excellent! Give me five to the side, up or above, down below. Ooh. You're too slow. He always catches me out on that bit. Oh, yeah, do some more. <laughs> Barry, you are looking 
looking after your new shoes, aren't you? Yes, Mum, I've told you! Oh, no. Because I want you to come home and show them to your grand. Oh, Millie, Millie! Baz, Baz! Oh, Mum, Mum! No, no, don't worry, I'll help you sort it out. You just go and chill off to Lula and I'll be with you in a sec. <sighs> I think it's time to introduce you to Mr. Busy and Mr. Snoozy. They're the road mending mods. Oh, and this is their boss. He's still a cat out at the moment. Millie! Millie! All right, Baz, I'm coming. Hey, do you want to hear the story of Mr. Busy and Mr. Snoozy? Yes. One day, both these men were told to dig a hole in the middle of the road. I want it here, not over there. I want it long, not round or square. I want it deep, and I want it right away. If you do it well, tease on me, OK? Mr Busy picked up the sign, which said... Row closed. Now, this red line will mark the hole. All righty, fine. Oh, no, it's not, said Mr Snoozy. I feel a bit sleepy and I feel a bit woozy, so do us a favour. There's a good chap. You make a start while I have a nap. Poor, tired Mr Snoozy, said Mr Busy, who soon got busy and set to work with a... Mr. Snoozy, in the middle of his nap, said, Be more careful, there's a good chap. Then the boss said, All right, men, how's the digging going then? Oh, great. First, right, we'll, we'll be finished soon, mate. mate. Then I'll buy you tea. Can't, Can't wait. wait. <laughs> and Mr. Busy picked up the drill and said, Right, now we'll use our skill to start the hole. Oh, yes, we will. Ah, oh, no, we won't, said Mr. Snoozy. I feel a bit sleepy and I feel a bit woozy. So do us a favour, there's a good chap. You make a start and I'll have a nap. Poor, tired Mr Snoozy, said Mr Busy, who soon got busy and set to work with a... <laughs> Mr Snoozy, in the middle of his nap, said... Keep the noise down, there's a good chap. Then the boss said, All right, men, how's the digging going then? Oh, great. First, right, we'll, we'll be finished soon, soon, mate. Then I'll buy you tea. Can't, Can't wait. wait. Oh, oh, nice chips and Mr. Busy picked up the spade and said, Right, let's show we're not afraid to dig down deep till the hole is made. Ah, uh, no, let's not, said Mr. Snoozy. I feel a bit sleepy and I feel a bit woozy, so do us a favour. There's a good chip. You make a start, I'll have a nap. Poor tired Mr. Snoozy, said Mr. Busy, who soon got busy and set to work with us. <laughs> Then the boss said, All right, men, how's the digging going then? Oh, great, first rate, we've finished it, mate. Then I'll buy you tea. Can't wait. Then the boss said, Mr. Snoozy, I thought you were feeling woozy. Not me. Said he. Ah, no, sir. I'm one white from a cakes and tea. Then the boss said, Good, I'm glad to hear it. Can't leave the hole without someone near it. So do us a favour. There's a good chap. You got the hole while Mr. Busy, who's been so busy, and me have tea and a well earned nap. Millie, you're a marvel. You've got all the paint off. Oh, excellent. Give me five. To the side, upper above, down below. Oh, Barry, you're so slow. Where are oh, you? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Millie. Hey, great road model. Hey, hang on. You hadn't built those road repairs before. Well, Barry! Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye. What he doesn't know is there's more to this model than meets the eye. Bye. <laughs>